Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. You can call me Jen. Today we're going to do a really kind of fun, low-key video. I want to kind of get to know you guys better. I want you to get to know me better. And I thought it'd be a great way. This would be just a really nice video for us to have some coffee or tea, as well as do a little Q&A, get ready with me, get to know me. And I'd love to hear more about you down in the comments below. So go ahead and put a little bit about you in the comments below. Just tell me one kind of interesting fact about yourself. I'd love to, I enjoy meeting you guys and talking to y'all, not only about beauty, but about other things as well. So we're gonna do that today. So cheers friends, <laughs> let's go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I had the brand new Chanel foundation. This is the number one foundation in B30. Now, if I don't mention something or forget to mention something, I will put everything in the description box below. I often do that. I try to put everything that I mention on every video, as well as anything you ask me to mention in the description box. Sometimes I forget, so please let me know if I forgot something, but I try to make sure I keep everything down there so that you guys can see what it is um, specifically like sometimes you guys ask me about earrings and nail polish and things like that too so I've been trying to be better about that guys I have so anyways my name is Jennifer or my friends call me Jen you know my husband calls me Jennifer though not Jen I have two kids I'm 36 years old I have a dog named Skipper he's a sweetheart he was supposed to be a medium golden doodle He's like 80 pounds, guys, not a medium <laughs> by all means. And he's so tall, but he is the sweetest dog and smart. This dog is so smart, y'all. He's a, just truly a be, like the best dog. I grew up with Scottish Terriers growing up, so th this breed is a bit different for me. It's, you know, Golden Doodle breed, but I really, really love him. And he's got the best and sweetest temperament before... Him. We also had another a Scottish Terrier. Her name was Addie, and she was just the sweetest, too. I secretly want to get another Scottish Terrier at some point, but my husband's like, no more dogs. <laughs> so, we'll see. let's see. A little bit more about me. So, I told you I have two kids. Uh, two is it for us. We are very happy with a boy and a girl at 10 years old. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe she turned 10 this past year, guys. And I about like, what happened? Like, where did the time go? I just, they say the years, oh wait, the days are long, but the years are short. They're not lying. It's wild. I'm using Clay de Peau, the Clay de Peau concealer. It's not the new one. A new one came out. I have mine in the shade Almond. I have a mirror here, so I'm just looking in the mirror real quick. But I really like it. I forgot about it, you know? You're inundated with makeup, and specifically, you know, I review makeup and things. You just don't realize, like, oh, gosh, this is really good. And that's something this year that I'm, like, really wanting to get into more, really finding those kind of holy grail type products. Uh, really want that to happen for me more so this year. All right, another fun fact about me is that I am a nurse by trade. I went to nursing school. I went to graduate nursing school. I, I do have my master's degree in nursing informatics. I I'm not currently working at this time, uh, but I really enjoyed what I did. And you know, sometimes I just think of, it was really, that was a really difficult time period for me to, when I stopped work because it was one of those things where it was part of me and it still is, but I like really grasped onto that because it was something that I always did, I always knew. And it was really hard for me to even like kind of refine myself after I stopped work because a lot of that was, you, I spent 40 hours a week. Well, more than that, like probably 60 hours a week <laughs> doing the work that I did. And, um, you know, I was proud of it and I was, I felt that I was really good at it, you know? So those are some things that, um, I, of course I miss, but 
it's a season. I, there's, it's a season. You guys asked, what does a day in my life look like? Well, <laughs> every day is different. <laughs> I started filming this and I started going into the reason why everything's different. I'm like, there, that is so boring. But I will tell you that, you know, I used to work and everything like that as a nurse and I had this routine and schedule and all the things. And then I stopped working and, you know, the kids were in school and things like that, which was great. And, you know, I stopped working in 2019. So it was before, you know, any of this, any of these uncontrollable events started to occur. But even so, I was still kind of trying to just find myself in that period. And then now it's even more than ever so like convoluted. <laughs> Because, you know, one week the kids will have school here and then it's not that bad. But, you know, like we're virtual this week and stuff like that. So it kind of turns your world upside down a little bit again. And our things happen or it's just the my kids are so resilient and their life is so fluid right now. I just find so much like I'm so inspired by that because I thrive off routine and the ability to control in a lot of ways. And it's hard for me to have that fluid and be okay, like have that fluidity and be okay with it. Um, but I kind of have to, right? So I'm just trying to give myself grace. But back to your question, what does a day in your life look like? A day in my life looks like I get up, I've been trying to get up earlier, so like 5.30ish. Um, I spend some time doing like a devotion or um, some, you know, reading or whatnot. Honestly, the past couple of weeks, it's been kind of like all over the place because we've been selling our house and we've had... So many showings, so many showings. And then we bought a home. And that's why I said in my last video, thank you so much for being so, y'all have no idea how much it means to me that you guys share and like and comment on my videos. Like of all people you can watch in this whole realm, in this whole world of YouTube, you choose to watch me and that y'all is an honor and so i just thank you guys so much for staying with me my lighting's a little off i feel like my lighting's really good today but i'm filming in like sunny and like fresh light and it's not like in my eyes like it was in the one video and i'm like ah but anywho side digress <laughs> so, so i try to get up i try to do like a devotion and then i try to go ahead and um, plan out for the day. And then I look at what's new in beauty. So I, Lexi and I, we run ATLB, which is a website, atlb.luxc. So we joined forces like last March and we started Clubhouse and things like that. And we have an online community that meets and it's kind of like a paid subscription. We enjoy, you can find out more, I'll leave links below. But um, yeah, we work together on that and it's a lot of fun and Lexi and I have become super close friends and it's been an amazing partnership. So we'll chit chat and go through things and um, try to figure out plans for the week or whatnot. And then kids go to school, I try to film. I try to answer all your questions or anything in the DMs on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram over there. I love it so much. You guys were asking, what are your goals for 2022? And I have a lot of goals for 2022. I put them on Instagram the other day and I'll grab them. Hold on, let me grab them. So this is what I put on Instagram. I said, find more balance and content, share what I love and what is helpful for others, bring fresh ideas, share joy, and be vulnerable. Be the account that I would want to follow. And that goes, that falls in line with what I wanna do here. I want to do, I think I do this, don't get me wrong, but I want to, I want it to be more on, on the forefront of what I do and what I share. 
and um, I want it to be meaningful for you guys as well as for me. And I think that is of most importance, right? That's one goal. Goal two, and I debated on whether or not to share this, but you know what? I'm like, I'm kind of to the point. I've been doing Instagram for five plus years. I've done this for a, over a year, almost two years maybe. I can't remember consistently you know like I, I threw a video like th three years ago or something like that and then I n didn't do anything for like a long time <laughs> I don't know it was scary starting a, a channel goal number two work with brands in a pay collaborative collaborative capacity <laughs> here's what I said I said okay so this is so sensitive to many and I get it I understand I see it, but I have to be honest. Would I love to work with brands? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, how awesome would it be to work with a brand, be noticed by a brand? Like if they ever send me PR, I'm beyond honored, you know? And I don't get like a ton of PR. And I think that's important to know because a lot of it I do by myself. Um, but. I love, I sincerely desire and love to share products that I do love, but I'd also love to be compensated for that as well from a brand, right? That's, that would just be so cool. And it's a dream of mine. It, and I was just saying, I was saying on here, I was like, I'm just being honest. It's a big goal for me this year. So that's something I wrote down. I want to achieve it. I want to do it. So that's something um, I really want to do. And in the past five years, I've done this when I was talking on Instagram. I've never taken a paid opportunity, meaning that I receive money in exchange for an advertisement on my channel or on my Instagram or anything like that. I've never done that. Have I received PR? Yes. Have I you know, talked about PR? Yes. But I've never been paid money for that opportunity. So honestly, the right one just hasn't come along and that's a big reason. I want it to be the right thing. I want it to be the right fit. There's a couple brands I can think of off the top of my head that I'd love to work with, but it just has to be right, you know? And I'm never gonna share anything that, or get paid by someone who I don't align with. That does, doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> on here he said oh and by the way this would never be an all ads page goodness no it would have to be on a cadence there's no way i get annoyed when people all they do is ads i mean honestly i get it i know that people like this is this is a business i do it i mean i do it <laughs> but i also understand that why would i want to watch someone who's always going to get like i don't know that's just me but anyways, I need to stop before I say something that's going to be true. <laughs> All right, moving on, let's do eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of powder. The Clay de Poe powder is so nice. That's a brand I really want to try a little bit more of. Ooh, I should do a video on that. Brands I want to try more of in 2022. Oh, I need to. Okay. Another goal for me was to be able to collaborate more with others. I think this is something that I used to do, but I didn't really do as much in 2021. Um, I think there's a couple reasons why. I didn't know if you guys liked that personally, like not personally, but I didn't know if you guys enjoyed collaborations. Like if I were say, oh, I, this is a content creator. We're collaborating on this video. Check them out. You can learn about them. They, their viewers can look, learn about me, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I just, I don't know. Like sometimes I was, I felt as though that was something that the viewers or you guys didn't really like. And because I've heard that before, um, but if that's not the case, let me know. That may have been like one person, right? I don't know. Like one person can say something. And I'm like, oh, everyone doesn't like that. <laughs> you 
and it may just be me um, being probably a little like, oh, I don't know if they like that, you know. But honestly, if it helps for you guys to find other people or it helps for people to, honestly, if it, it's a way for content creators who are smaller to be able to grow and for us to be able to share what we love with other people, then I want to help, right? Like, I want to help others. I think that it's important to help others along the way and um, share the journey because it is a journey, guys. This whole thing for me is a massive journey. It is a marathon, not a sprint. And another, you know, that's kind of another goal. Like, I would love to grow, but I also, I said in my kind of last statement was continue to connect with those who follow or begin to follow me. This is big for me. I wouldn't be here without you. You're the reason I do this. I love it, but the best part is connecting with others. I said this for Instagram and I'm saying this for YouTube because it's it's true. I, I don't have crazy number goals or anything like that. Like, oh, I want to hit like 50K or what? Would that be so crazy and like wild, like beyond my wildest dreams to hit like a crazy number? Yeah, that'd be crazy. That would be kind of cool. But for me, in the end, as long as I'm doing it and I love it, and I'm putting my family first because that is what I, I need to do. That's my role. That is who I am. Um, I can find myself getting a bit stressed out sometimes because I can't, like I was talking about a schedule before and things like that and trying to give myself a little bit more grace. But honestly, they're my priority. And I do this because I love I love it and I want to enjoy it and not get stressed out about it. And I think wherever that takes me, it will take me there, wherever I'm supposed to go, right? So, I can't promise a cadence of videos. I can't promise like, oh, I'm gonna have five videos a week or anything like that. But I can promise that they'll be happy videos and full of joy and that's what you'll see from me in 2022 and you know what you'll probably be seeing a lot more lifestyle because i personally find myself wanting to share that a little bit more i'm moving some of y'all asked for me to share about my house my new house we just closed on it you guys yesterday and does not feel real to me i have got to tell you I was telling, someone was like, aren't you excited? Aren't you excited? I'm like, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. And like, I don't know, we're moving to South Carolina. I live in North Carolina now. It's not that far away, honestly. It's like 30 minutes down the road, if that. But it's, I've never moved to a different state. Is that weird? Like, I feel like there's there's people who who will stay in their same state for forever. And then there's people who have moved everywhere. And I'm kind of, I've never moved anywhere. So for me, I'm kind of like, what do I do? Is it going to be all good? Is, are we all going to be fine? I mean, it's going to be fine, but I'm excited. So some of you guys were asking kind of like why we're moving, all the things. And I've touched on it briefly. This blue is, guys, is so, in, so insane. But my husband's parents need help. And they're a little older. And um, my mother-in-law had a very debilitating stroke over 10 years ago. So we're moving to be closer to my mother and father-in-law because they need help. They're getting older, things like that. So um, that's why we are moving. Okay, so you are asking how many bedrooms and bathrooms? Are the kids gonna have to change schools? Those types of things. No, the kids won't have to change schools. Thank goodness. Um, they are actually in a school that way so that is perfect that is great they're they love their school so thank goodness for that and bedrooms and bathrooms there's one two three four four bedrooms 
a bonus, an office, four and a half baths. It's a bigger home because eventually, you know, our mother and father-in-law are probably, my mother and father-in-law are probably going to have to be with us at some point. So that is, um, the reason why we chose to buy a home that was a little bigger in that regard. And my Gucci bronzer guys. Okay. What's my signature fragrance? Oh, someone's a fragrance guru. I am not a fragrance guru. I wish I was into fragrance more, but I just am not. And I love learning about it and things like that. But I personally love the Baccarat, Ru Baccarat 540 Extract. MFK. Is that right? MFK. Yeah. That's what I personally love. Gosh, that's so pretty. This palette is really pretty by Bridgerton. But I did get a lot of fallout, but whatever. It's, it, it kind of like highlights underneath of my eyes a little bit. So I don't look like I woke up at three o'clock last night. Cause I did. What product have you been obsessed with? I mean, obviously Gucci bronzer has been like the bronzer of the like past two years for me. Um, I really like the new Chanel balm, like the pot balms that are cheek and lip balms by their number one collection. Those are fabulous. My La Prairie foundation and powder is so good. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, those are some, oh, the lip balms by Dior are so good. So good. Okay. Uh, New Rose is sold out right now, so I'm not even like, I hate even telling you that, but it, it might come back. It might come back. Um, so those are ones that I'm just absolutely kind of obsessed with per se. What's my favorite thing to do? Like my favorite pastime other than makeup, going to the beach. <laughs> we live at the beach and we'll still live at the beach um, in South Carolina. Uh, I love going to the beach. Like that is one of my favorite things to do. I love listening to music, reading a book, uh, riding the waves with my kids like oh i just love it i love the same between my toes i love the smell oh it's just so good warm weather where are you <laughs> oh another thing i absolutely really love doing is running i love to run i have not i haven't been really bad lately guys really bad i have not ran in a long time i plan to do so once i get back in, once i get settled in this house but and sell this sell this house <laughs> but as can you tell it's a very transitional time in my life right now <laughs> um but yeah that's something that i really plan to get back into and i've been wanting to run the marath marathon marathon yeah i've really been wanting to run the marathon in uh disney i would love to do that at some point so we'll see i, I said i was going to do it this year but everything i mean there wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to do that right now, you know, it's a little give and take, right? All right. So let's put on patience. Shantikai, one of my favorite shades. And my friend Scott, who works for Shantikai, he gifted me. No, I bought this, but, um, he says, this is like the most flattering nude. <laughs> it really is. It's really good. <laughs> That's something I personally want to get into a little bit more is taking care of like the skin on my body more so. Like I wear sunscreen and stuff, but more of the lotions and exfoliation type products. I need to like really dive into that a little bit more. So if you guys have any suggestions, <laughs> because I have been trying a few things, but I'd love to hear what your favorite products are down in the comments because I personally, I just don't try as many of those, if that makes sense. Oh, this Rare Beauty Mascara is so good. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> 
Can I throw on anything else? Oh, oh, let's throw on some highlighter. Oh, Makeup by Mario highlighter. I want to try their new balms they just came out with. They look awesome, quite frankly. Wow. That's really pretty. Okay, guys, I think that's it for now. <laughs> I just love chatting with you guys, and thank you so much for watching. I hope if you made it this far, invite you to subscribe below. I'd love for you to stay around and uh, share this with your friends if you guys are uh, wanting to share. I appreciate that. Also, let me know something about you down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about you, learn more about yourselves or whatnot, and that would be really awesome. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all so much. I hope that you enjoyed hearing a little bit about me and my goals and all the things and kind of what's going on here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.